hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome welcome and welcome and if you are returning uh, you is a loyal one wow i have been gone child. i think i'm let me not even let me not even i'm doing that video yeah hey how y'all doing <laughs> that's me right now How doing? I'm not even gonna explain, but it's just I had a very crazy year. A lot has happened, a lot has changed, like most of my life has changed completely. So it's just yeah, that's where I've been guys. I don't wanna like do that whole thing, you know, that YouTubers do, where have I been? Why did I disappear? I'm back. All oh, what's important is that I'm back. Yeah, I'm back right now. I am back. So, um, just a quick intro. If you knew, my name is Kididi Mete, and welcome, welcome to the family. And if you're returning, you already know what it is. To my loyal ones for coming back, for waiting for me, what rewatching old videos. Please love you guys. But hey. Um, just quickly, I am going to be doing vlogmas. I'm not going to say I'm going to do a video every day. It's already the 2nd of December. Today is the 2nd of December. And I'm planning on posting this video tomorrow on Sunday. I'm not going to do the whole everyday thing. But I am either going to do weekly videos. Not necessarily vlogs. I know it's vlogmas. But I don't think I'm going to be doing necessarily um, bargaining vlogs but i am going to be posting a video per week or i'm gonna be doing two videos a week and we're gonna have filler videos where it's a sit down video it's not necessarily a vlog and things like that like just i'm just trying to get back into it so i'm just using vlogmas as that like you know to what's the word um I forgot what the word is that I'm looking for, but I'm going to use vlogmas basically to get me back into the hang of things. So that's enough. I got my glass of, I have a glass of, obviously you can see this very light. It's cranberry juice, but I'm drinking it from a wine glass because I can and I want to. Mm. So I have my glass of. Because today we're doing an updated get to know me tag. The last time I did this was in 2017 when I started this inconsistent channel of mine. And in 2017 my life was nothing like what it is right now. So I'm going to do an updated get to know me tag. Because when I discover a new YouTuber, I, I like to just scroll and see if they have a get to know me tag. So I can get to know them, like what's your name? where do you stay you know not to be in a business or anything but like just so i feel like i know you better um so i wanted to do that but not only for my new loyal ones but also for my returning loyal ones so that i can just update you guys on some of the things that have changed right so i have some questions on my phone and then i'll also just randomly touch on some things it's like Get to know me slash life update, you know, just, just get to know me. So we'll start with what my full name is. My name is Gididi Meitin, but most people call me Gidi or Didi or Meiti. They just basically take my very long name and they break it up and use whichever part of it that they like. But my full name is Gididi Meitin and most people refer to me as Gidi. Yes. Okay. Um, my date of birth is the 12th of December, 12-12, my birthday is in 10 days, didn't nerves, but my birthday is in 10 days, I am a Sag, I am a Sagittarius, but yeah, 12-12, remember the date. Um, have you been named in honor of someone else? If yes, then who is it? Yes. I inherited my name from my yo I don't know the English name, Mar from my dad's Rakhadi. 
So Gidlimete is actually my dad's Rakhari. So Rakhari is my dad's aunt, basically, from his dad's side. So he's my dad's dad's sister. My grandfather's sister, basically. Yes. That's where I inherited my name from. And I do love my name. It's just that sometimes I feel like Libito Laimela guys, you know, like be careful when you're naming your children. Libito Laimela because I'm named Kidivete and I am so quiet. My name means I'm quiet. I'm so quiet. I am so shy and introverted. And sometimes I just feel like I, I wanna jump out of my skin and be more out there and be more extroverted and speak up when I need to and things like that. But I just feel like I am in a box because of my name. Like, I feel like my name is so heavy on me. It keeps me quiet even when I don't feel like I want to be quiet, you know? Except for Gongjulong. That's where I'm very vocal. Like, you can't shut me up. If if you're doing rubbish, I'm going to say you're doing rubbish. Cause that's the only place where I have no filter. But otherwise, outside, yeah. So, but I do love my name. It's a very unique name. Um, I love how long it is. I love that sometimes it challenges people because a lot of people can't say it. I like my name. I really, really do like my name. Uh, where do you come from, and do you feel about do you feel happy about it? How well? Um, originally, okay, no, home is in Pretoria. When I say I'm going home to my parents, I'm going. I mean, that's Pretoria. That's where home is. But my parents are originally from bloom i was born there i stayed there for a couple of years and before we moved to pretoria so but yeah home is in pretoria <laughs> the look yeah no did you do you enjoy playing a sport or simply watching it well in high from primary school i played hockey i don't really enjoy watching hockey but i loved hockey i was absolutely amazing at it loved it loved it loved it loved it and my niece is also playing hockey so i really enjoy being a little hockey mom going to watch her play a little games they're so cute and they're so good i was actually shocked because i only started playing hockey and i was in grade six so i was at 12 when i started playing hockey these kids are in they're now in grade two they started a lot in grade one guys so they're like seven eight they're so good like they actually grasp it they actually play i went there thinking oh we're just gonna you know support them but they probably don't know what they're doing they actually know what they're doing they're hitting the ball in the right direction they're scoring goals they're passing like they get it so crazy guys yo you know sometimes kids yeah i know um i'm gonna skip a few of these you know like honestly did he sing unnecessary like do you like animals if yes, which animal do you, are you most passionate about? Questions like that I'm going to skip. These are just general questions, like I said. Are you a parent? How many? I am a parent. I am a mother of one. Um, my son is one year... What's now? It's December. He's one year nine months. So he is turning two very soon, but he's already in his terrible ones yeah we're already throwing tantrums extremely naughty doesn't want to play with toys everything else but toys i feel like yeah we're there but we're not even two yet but we're really there but i am a mother to a baby boy and that's it i do have other kids obviously like my nieces and my nephews and then also from my husband's side his nieces and his nephews so it, i got a lot but my own one i only have one child um how many kids do you wish to have <sighs> guys after langa langa is showing me flames like he is proper showing me flames i initially thought i wanted two kids i still think i want two kids but if i try again like when i have i do want another child i do and I want to be very happy for my for my next pregnancy. Like I want to be in a very good place. I want to be, I want it to be planned. I want to be expecting it, and all of that. Like I want to be ready for my second pregnancy. But the thing is, um, if I don't have, if I don't get a girl, if God doesn't give me a girl, I might try again for a girl because I already have a boy. So I just want to have a boy and a girl. 
um, if, if I get a girl, I'm done. I might have another one though, because my, my husband wants a big family. Like, he wants like five or six kids. I'm like, uh, so as a sacrifice, because he's sacrificing not getting his five or six kids, and I'm, I might sacrifice and give him three, like a, a third one. But ideally, if it wasn't because my husband wants a lot of kids, I would just have two. Like, two is what I want. It's more than enough for me. By the way, guys, my hair, like, my hair is from Honeycomb Hair. Just saying, just putting it out there. Like, I love it so much. I love it so much. It is a body wave. And baby, stormy. I love it. Yeah, so, two but I might have three. Three max. Three is my actual, actual, actual cut off. Are you married or single? And what is your reason? I guess that's if you're single. I am married. I got married traditionally this year. Um, yeah. I think that's what you, how you say it. But I am a lochkolwat girl. I am married. Marriage is not easy, guys. They don't tell you. <gasps> it's not easy. Yo, I'm jealous of Renessa already. So imagine. Marriage is not easy. Like, it's actually. Like, moving in with this person. And, like, now you have to infuse your different behaviors, your different beliefs, your different what, 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 what. Well, obviously, there will be similarities. But. The differences could clash but it's not your it's also so beautiful at the same time it's so beautiful my husband and i are still very young according to me please nobody tell me i'm old um and i feel like we're two kids playing my friend once said this like i feel like we're two kids playing house with a baby <laughs> you know like we're playing house together so it's really nice and vibey in the house like yesterday we were just dancing i was listening to music i was listening to joe because joe is coming to South Africa and also to BB Winans. So like we were just dancing and having a nice time, you know, with our little baby. But yeah, marriage is nice, but when it gets tough, it gets tough, okay? Like the challenges are very serious because imagine you committed. And you committed and about the first year is always the hardest. We are now about eight months. Oh my gosh, already? Yes, this is our eighth month um, as a married couple. So yeah, we are traditionally married though. We've only had our member so um, you guys will probably see that vlog if I have content. If I have, I haven't even gone through the the but again the footage. Eight months later, I haven't like guys. Life has been so busy. I haven't even gone through the footage yet. But if I have enough footage for a vlog, I'll put out the vlog, but it will probably come out next year or as a vlogmas bonus we'll see we'll see we'll see how it goes but yeah we've been eight months in it's crazy but we've only moved in together like i wanna i'm answering but i'm also giving out that extra details in there you know so catch that as well like it might not be a question here but i'm just saying we only moved in together about two months ago Yes, officially two months. Not even officially, like two months ago. And then he officially, officially told my parents I'm moving, I think two weeks ago, that I'm coming to stay with him here because we haven't done the white wedding. We haven't finished the whole, like, Robola, yes, we're done. But we haven't done our white wedding, our, tradi our Zulu traditional wedding. We haven't done all those things. So, yeah, but we're married. So we moved in together two months ago. We got our own place four months ago, but we only moved in two months ago. Um, before that, I was just traveling to come see him all the time. But the traveling got so exhausting for me. The toll it took on me traveling with a baby is no joke. It is no joke. Especially doing it alone. Uh-uh. It's tough. So, yeah. That's, that's the update on that. You know, but I have already... I have... Moving with my husband, I have also relocated, so I no longer stay in Pretoria. I no longer stay in Gauteng. 
baby girl has moved to KZN. Oh my gosh. Yo. Hmm. I moved to KZN. I relocated to KZN. And as we were staying currently, my man. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to say like we, but in case it is. It's not Durban. A little small town in case it is. Love it here, by the way. I actually really like small towns. Like, I, I like that vibe. So, I'm right in my element. Um, What is your favorite drink to drink? Coca-Cola. Coke has me on a chokehold of late. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what's going on, but guys, Coke, oh, Coke, Coca-Cola is it. Um, your favorite celebrity crush, guys? Yes, I don't. I don't crush on celebrities. Like, I find it so weird. Like people will be like, it is Abba, you know. What what and I'm just like I mean he's a look he's a good looking man but like I'm not gonna lose my marbles if I see him in real life or what what you know I I don't think I have one I cannot think of anyone right now and be like yes that's my crush I, I don't have one do you think that you are an introvert or an extrovert I think I answered that one already I am extremely introverted however i am an ambivert like the people that know me really well people that are really close to me my friends and family will tell you that i actually talk a lot my husband will tell you that he's tired of me because i talk so much my friends will tell you that i am hilarious like i am so funny and i talk so much i don't actually talk that much for the most part my friends do a lot of talking and i do a lot of responding but i talk like i actually do talk like i talk and i'm loud and you know i laugh very loud things that could shock a lot of people but that's because like i'm very comfortable with my family and my friends so i am very i'm, a, I'm an ambivert but if you don't know me i'm very introverted I have a constant, if there's one thing that is consistent in my life, it's my resting B face. It's always on. I'm not easily approachable because I always have a serious face. Like, I don't like smiling in pictures. My husband's always like, why are you so serious? I don't like smiling. Like, I just, I'm always serious because I don't want anyone to talk to me. Especially when I'm walking in public. I don't want anyone to talk to me. I don't want anyone to say anything. Especially the other gender. I really don't want them to talk to me or say anything to me. So I always have this resting B face, serious face, serious look. Like I'm just trying to get to where I need to be and go back home. I am also very much a homebody. I love being home, but I do occasionally enjoy going out. Like I do get to a point where I'm like, this house is suffocating me. So like yesterday, my husband took us out for lunch. Um, and that was very nice. I really enjoyed it because I've been in the house for two weeks. So I really enjoyed going out yesterday. But most of the time, I prefer being at home with my laptop or my TV, my Netflix, my YouTube, just chilling, you know? Yeah. So that is that. What is your most cherished childhood memory? Ooh, so my favorite, my very, very favorite, favorite, favorite childhood memory was literally. So the routine was, this, this is the whole thing, right? So I go to school in the morning, like we wake up, bath, eat, get ready to go to school, and my dad drops us off at school and he goes to work, and then in the afternoons my mom would pick us up because my mom was a housewife, so. My mom left, she, she kind of basically retired when she was having, right before she had my younger brother. And I was in grade R at the time, or grade zero, whichever one, the one before grade one, grade R, I think. I was in grade R and my mom then had my little brother 
and then the following year I was in grade one and then da 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 we got older. So my mom only started working when I was in grade seven, right? So she took all those I think it's about seven years off. She took all those seven years off and literally she'll fetch us after school and then we go home or we go see my aunt and then we go home but mostly we'd go home and when we go home she's already prepared food so she either has something going on the stove for dinner and then she'll make us sandwiches or sometimes my dad if he's available because my dad's job was very flexible so my dad was, would pick us up we go home and we get home to my mom like the house is smelling nice it's warm the house is clean food is about like she'll make a sandwich or whatever she used to make the best cheese and tomato sandwich after school ever you do your homework and then you watch tv and then you know like you eat dinner like guys that was my absolute fondest memory my childhood memory ever like coming home to a warm home to a parent who's already like prepared or preparing lunch and it's clean and you know like it, it just it gave me so much warmth especially before my brother was big enough to go to crash so it would be the two of them at home all the time like i'm going home to my little brother because my brother and i grow up very close like when we were kids i'm going to see my little brother who's my friend the whole the house is clean i know we're gonna find food my mom is cooking like it was so nice for me and that is why i think i've always aspired to be a housewife because i just feel like my kids should come home to me or i should pick them up from school my husband must come home to a warm clean house with food on the stove like i really like that it's just that obviously instead of me being housewife i'm gonna be home executive so i'll have a business you know that i'm doing i'm running from the house or whatever going to the gym you know like nowadays kind of vibe but like still get, getting my bag and whatever doing my youtube during the day or whatever but when my kids come home from school they're gonna come home to a warm home and my husband is gonna come home to a warm home cooked meals or lunch is ready like something a snack is going something guys i love that vibe so much love it love it love it i also just want to be available because then and this is why it's my favorite because then my mom got a job in when i was in grade seven and she started working right and now she's busy and this is around the time where i got into extramural um extramurals or extracurricular activities like sports and stuff and then i got older and i actually i got i was really good at hockey like i said so i was like oh, man i wonder how life would have been if my parents were not so because they both office based like if it if if my parents didn't need to be at the office every single day because like our matches would be during the week so i'm like i wonder how it would be if my parents could just come watch a game like me playing a game you know uh, or a match of ours i really so i want to be available for those kind of things for my kids and yeah so i aspire to be a home executive guys um i hope god grants me you know the ability to be absolutely good at it like amazing at it like to be a home maker that's what i aspire to be but also making my bag big bag at that right so guys please subscribe please like please leave a comment please watch the vid the ads you know do what you gotta do you know you guys see the vision i know you guys see the vision um where were we were actually almost done do you wish to start an enterprise yes i do but my goals and my dreams kind of scare me so like just being very open about this like my, my dreams really do stuff sometimes scare me and unfortunately i i step back you know because i'm like yo will i be able to do this like i think i have a big serious problem of imposter syndrome and i'm like yo am i going to be able to do this am i going to be able to pull this off am i going to be able to run a business like this and still be what i want to be in my household you know because i really don't want to do anything that's going to make me too busy 
I, I don't want to be an absent absent mother and an absent wife because I'm too busy held up with work. Like I get that. Some women do it and they're they're doing very well and they have very understanding husbands and stuff like that. I just it's not for me. That's them, good for them, but it's not for me per se. Like I do want to make bag and I do want to you know I wanna be successful. I want to have to be an entrepreneur and whatever but i still want to do it i just want to be able to balance the two extremely well like ridiculously well that's my aspiration in life i want to juggle him like you really 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 well what's your biggest accomplishment in high school hockey hockey but these questions if you're a snake lover which is your favorite like Adam, is that you? Sneak. Nope. Hey. Yeah. I think that gives you guys a, a nutshell, like in a nutshell, it gives you an idea of who I am, where I'm from, where I'm currently residing, my dynamic, who I'm staying with, and my wife and a mother, you know. My son is about to wake up any moment now, so I'm glad that I got this chance to record this video before he wakes up. If you made it to the end of the video, please leave me a a black heart because I'm wearing a black top. Please leave me a black heart in the comments down below. If you guys have any questions that I do not answer, please leave them in the comment section. Feel free. As long as it's not too invasive, guys, like you're not doing the most. I'll definitely answer your questions, but if you anything you'd like to know, leave a comment down below and I'll either answer in the comment section or I'll answer in the next video, which will probably be a vlog. So yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much. When I say that I mean it, I love you guys so very, very much, guys. Yo, 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 deeply. Deeply, 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 deeply. I love you guys so, so, so much. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Please give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please comment. Um, please subscribe if you are not subscribed. Like, if you're not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. It's free. No issues. Please click on the bell, on the notification bell, and select all to get notified when I post my next video. Leave a comment down below. If you are new, let me know. Let me give you a nice welcome. Let me know. And yeah, please just watch the ads so that I can make coin. Because again, I told you guys, I want to be in my bag. So I want to be in my bag and I want to be here and I want to make content for you guys. Like 2024, it's it's us it's me and you on the other side of the screen i love you guys so much thank you for watching toodles cheers click click